fonts. Okay, so the T is somebody here. It could be you or it could be this person. But somebody here is trying to sneak away from a situation. It, you, you still have to wait a little bit more is what I'm saying here. Like, you still have to wait. There's something here that some of you want to do. But I'm saying here there's, a, there's just a little bit more of a waiting period. Okay, honestly, for some of you, this person is thinking of leaving all their money like in a, in a check and leaving it on the table for the karmic after they have sneaked away and, and leaving a letter, leaving a letter for this karmic like, hey, this is over. This is done with. I left. I left you money for you to survive this next month for these next few months, but I'm done. This is through. It's over. Don't ever contact me again. Like this individual might leave a letter. For some of you, I heard it took two to four years, like it's been two to four years. For somebody else, I heard it's been 10 years. For others, it's been 10 months. But regardless, it's like you were left waiting. You did, did this individual left you waiting. They never gave any closure, any clarity. All right, my beautiful Virgos, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. Cersei Zide here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is what's the T. We're going to see what the T is when it comes to you. Do make yourself comfortable. Cross watchers are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. And I just want to thank everyone for all the support. Truly grateful for everyone here. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders. Guidance in this read for Virgo, what messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. I heard the name Jeffrey or, or Jeff. Okay, we have Aquarius. So we could see the star card. This is Uranus energy. Here you have the moon, Cancer energy. We could see the chariot card or the moon card. And here you have number 10. So this is Sagittarius energy as well. This is the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy. What do we have at the bottom? Ten of Cups. You have the Ten of Cups. And the Six of Swords. So somebody's moving toward you or you're moving somewhere new? You're moving somewhere that's warmer? Or, or you're moving where the sun shines longer or something? Because you notice her suitcase, she has a suitcase and it's packed. Hmm, let's see here. Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups. I keep noticing like the tropical water. I either you guys are going on a vacation or you're moving somewhere else. Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, wow. <clears throat> now that's talking about love. But there is such thing as self-love, so maybe it's you loving yourself like you've never loved yourself before. Yeah, Eight of Wands. So this is all about you. <clears throat> the Magician in Reverse. The Magician in Reverse, I feel like you have been waiting. You've been waiting for your life to change or, or, or for something to change here in the situation. Oh, look what we have here. The Lovers and the Moon. The Lovers and the Moon, Virgo. Somebody here has not told you how they really felt towards you. They have not told you the deep feelings that they have in their heart when it comes to you, okay? They have not told you this. They have not spoken it because you have the moon there. It's it's hidden within them. And we have the moon in the dice. So I did say we could see the moon card and there's the moon card. However, you have the magician in reverse. You have double Gemini here, by the way. So you could be dealing with a Gemini or you were dealing with a Gemini. Someone's been trying to manifest you, but it's not working. It's not working. Yeah, Ace of Swords, Spirit saying it's the truth. Somebody here wants you to reach out to them. They're they're doing a come to me spell. They want you to come to them, but you aren't, so they have a headache. I also feel like this person, spiritually or energetically through magic, they were blocking you from moving forward. They were blocking something from coming into your life. 
High Priestess, Three of Wands. You, you, you still have to wait a little bit more is what I'm saying here. Like, you still have to wait. There's something here that some of you want to do, but I'm saying here there's, a, there's just a little bit more of a waiting period, okay? It could be the end of October that finally you'll be able to make that movement forward, okay? This could be a career switch or this could be moving uh, your physical location because I get a strong energy here of a, mo a big move. For others, this is a vacation, but it's like, you, you, the High Priestess is like an energy and the Three of Wands especially there. It's like Spirit is saying, hold on, wait a minute, listen to your intuition. Don't just jump into anything, you know, don't don't um, make any emotional uh, based decisions, okay? When your emotions are high, yes, use your intuition, but also use your logical mind when you're coming to approach this because I feel like something is coming in but you need to sit and think about it. Or I feel like you're about to do something, but again, you need to sit and think about it. Don't rush in. Okay, take your time, think about it, then make your decision. Or, like right now, it's not the time to do this. Wait until the end of October. Beginning, first week of November, right? I'm looking at that Three of Wands, I'm thinking three weeks. Or, High Priestess card number two, two weeks. So two weeks from now, we would be at the end of October. So you may have to wait until the end of October. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Yes, there's a contract being signed here. Some of you are buying a new car, King of Swords, or some of you are buying property. You're, you're taking flights. You're upgrading. You're upgrading. You're moving up. That's what I get here because he's sitting up in that mountain. But Somebody here was cold with you and now they want to come in and they want to invest. They wish to invest. They want to come back in. Yes, Queen of Pentacles, you're minding your business. And the Knight of Pentacles, I think you're not really... I feel like you're very indifferent about this. The majority of you, I feel like you're indifferent. You're like, oh, if they come in, they come in. If not, they don't. You know, it, like it is what it is. I surrender this to universe. That's the energy. Um... You're very focused on your money, your career, your studies. Here you have the higher fence. So some of you could be in the temple, in the church, okay, doing some light work. I want to see what else is here. Seven of Swords, okay. Oh, Lord. Somebody's trying to sneak away from something, okay? This is a T. Yeah, Page of Swords. The Page of Swords and the Four of Wands. Okay, so the T is somebody here. It could be you or it could be this person. But somebody here is trying to sneak away from a situation. It could be a marriage. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be roommates. Okay, but someone is trying to sneak away from something. It's either you or it's your person that I'm seeing here. But yeah, some somebody's just trying. Some, somebody here is done. They're done with a situation, with a routine, they're done with a job, and they're ready to remove themselves. Honestly, for some of you, if this is a divorce, this could be uh, where somebody is just leaving the divorce papers and a check on the countertop, and, and they just left when the other person wasn't in the house or, or apartment or something like that. If this is a relationship... Somebody here is just packing up and leaving in the middle of the night. Some, somebody's packing up and leaving in the middle of the night. This could even be you. This could literally be you. But I, it is a general read. It's like I'm conflicted because I feel like for some of you, it is you. Or it could be representing you traveling at night. But then for others, I feel like it's this King of Swords, this individual. And that Seven of Pentacles that they went and invested elsewhere they try to invest elsewhere and that situation didn't work out for them so now they want to come back towards you but they don't know how to end that situation how to walk away from that situation it's a huge headache it feels to me like they got involved with someone that's very controlling and manipulative and now they're just wanting to sneak away from that from that person they just want to sneak away here let's get clarifiers let's keep going Yep, this King of Swords, the, the, this King of Swords is stuck on you. Yeah, it's this person. Well, for some of you, it, it could be the both of you, right? You're trying to sneak away from a situation as well. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But it's this King of Swords. This King of Swords 
for the majority of you, this is someone that caught, got caught up in a situation and they want to remove themselves from that situation, but they don't know how because the person that they, the, the karmic that they got involved with is very clingy, clingy, excuse me, possessive, very annoying. Uh, th th that's someone that may threaten, like, your person could have been like to this karmic, oh, you know, I'm going to leave. And this karmic could have threatened, you know what, S-U-I-C-I-D-E, right? I don't want to say it because I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to get the boot on the tube. You get what I'm saying? So I'm just spelling it out. But that's the type of person that they're dealing with, you know, someone that is just very manipulative. Yeah, four of cups, you see. And the Eight of Swords. This individual doesn't want you to go anywhere. They still have feelings towards you. They they think about you all the time. They want to make that offer. But you see, you either have walked away or you're in the process of walking away. Or you have thought about walking away. Oh, wow. Eight of Cups. This individual wants to walk away and come towards you. The Two of Wands. They want to walk away and come towards you. So the main energy I get is this individual trying to sneak away from the karmic. Knight of Pentacles. But it's almost like they're scared or they don't know how to. Six of Cups. Knight of Cups. Six of Cups, Knight of Cups. Six of Cups, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Now they want to come in and make this, this romantic gesture, but it's almost like they took way too long. For some of you, I heard it took two to four years, like it's been two to four years. For somebody else, I heard it's been 10 years. For others, it's been 10 months. But regardless, it's like you were left waiting. You did this individual left you waiting. They never gave any closure, any clarity. It just feels like they took way too long. Like they're they're really really late here, they're really late. I, I I don't know if this can be salvaged. Yeah, Ace of Cups and the Star. This could have been like a twin flame situation. This is like a divine counterpart. Temperance, the Star, and the Ace of Cups. This could have been uh, your your divine soulmate or, or someone that you have past life connection to. Hmm. Temperance. And the three, yeah, three of swords, eight of pentacles. This is a clingy karmic. They got involved with a clingy karmic, and the karmic doesn't want to let go of them. So this individual is going to try to sneak away. Even if it means they end up homeless and they forfeit their home, they're going to try to sneak away. There, the, This is done. Yeah, seven of swords, there it is again. This This individual doesn't want to do this anymore. They want to be with you. They want to be with you. They don't want to be with the karmic. Yeah, nine of wands. They they feel like they're in a jail, like they're trapped. Page of wands. So I'm noticing the pyramids of Egypt. Some of you could have past life in Egypt. Um, but also, this individual may just travel to you. Like, they may just sneak away. Yeah, the empress. This individual, this page of wands wants to come in and talk to you, the empress. Regardless of your gender, whoever you are, he, she, they, them, it. This individual wants to come in and talk to you. But they may just show up at your door or something. Yeah, ton of Virgo, I can't even make it up. They may show up at your house or, or your door. If not, they're, they're sending you an unexpected message. Or for some of you, they're going to get in touch with one of your friends or your family member. And they're going to they're gonna beg, like, please, can can you just get me in contact with Virgo? Uh, can you get Virgo on the line? Like, and some of you, your friend or your family member is going to, you know, get this person on the line with you. So even if you have this person blocked, it's like somebody or some of you, your friend or your family member is going to betray you and get this person on the line with you. I'm just saying. But yeah, this individual, they, it's mainly them that I'm picking up is trying to sneak away, trying to, 
escape the karmic situation. Yeah, two of wands, but they're being watched. They're being watched. You see how that man is looking at this? The shrub? That's how the karmic is watching this person. This person feels like they're in jail. I'm telling you all, this person feels like they're in a jail. They want to leave. They want to leave. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Spirit is agreeing. There's the King of Swords and the Five of Wands. But they don't want conflict. They don't want issues. They're thinking of just leaving money, okay? The King of Pentacles there, they're thinking of just leaving a check of money uh, for this karmic. And honestly, for some of you, this person is thinking of leaving all their money like in a, in a check and leaving it on the table for the karmic after they have sneaked away and, and leaving a letter. Leaving a letter for this karmic like, hey, this is over. This is done with. I left. I left you money for you to survive this next month or these next few months but i'm done this is through it's over don't ever contact me again like this individual might leave a letter letting this karmic know like hey the, the, this is what happened yeah the chariot spirit saying yes spirit saying yes the chariot is a yes card and there's the ace of pentacles finances uh, a financial offer but in this case it's this individual leaving a check or, or leaving something on on the coffee table or on the kitchen counter, the island counter, okay? And the karmic going into into that place, into that room, and, and finding this envelope and reading it and realizing, holy crap, this, this person just left. Like, they just left. The Hierophant in reverse and the Ten of Swords in reverse and death. A clingy karmic does not want to let go of this person, but this person's going to end it. This person's going to end it, and they're going to come uh, towards you. Yep, Death, the Tower, Two of Cups, Knight of Swords, they're coming. They're coming back. This is what this is, Virgo. They're coming back to you. They know what they want. They know who they want to be with. They know that you're the one for them, and they're going to come in with... The, they, they don't have much money. Remember, they're leaving money for the Karmic. They're leaving the money for the Karmic. They, they don't want to deal. They had to just escape, but... For those of y'all that want this, your person, your twin flame, your soulmate, here they here they come. They're back. They're going to end it with the karmic. So that is your read. That is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs>